this is an independence day special so i am going to talk about the independence of uh, the birds animals and trees from whom from of course us uh, flowers were created in this nature and it gave a sweet smell of fragrance to the air trees were created in this nature and it gave rain to the soil and at last uh, human were created in this nature what we did uh, we plucked all the flowers we destroyed all the trees uh, nature cried uh, why we why the hell we created these humans uh, once upon a time in my house uh, i heard the sounds of sparrows uh, always it can't be explained in words the sounds of my friendly birds uh, but it is not coming near now it is by the time we chat in our mobile phones uh, with our girlfriends or boyfriends or from home home it is uh, the rays of those mobile are disturbing are disturbing the path of those sparrows and small birds uh, that does uh, killing them so what do we do we use the sound of those sparrows uh, to get up early in the morning by using it as an alarm ringtone in the same mobile phone which is killing those sparrows uh. we cut down many trees uh, to build our houses uh. trees gives us shelter trees gives us uh, food uh. trees gives us medicines trees gives us rain uh. but what we give back to those trees we just destroy them trees are crying as their families are dying but we the selfish mankind wouldn't even mind uh. as per the recent stats uh, The Indian population is going beyond 135 crores uh, and it increases per each second. Uh. As the human population increases, uh, the population of other organisms are getting decreased now day, day by day. As we grow in number, uh, we need more space to live. So what we do we destroy all the forests to build houses uh, which is actually the living place for the animals uh, for the wild animals as per the nature's rule. And what we are saying now it is uh, the animals are entering our houses and we are killing those animals. Uh. but actually who entered whose house just think that and now it is we are hearing in our news channels that a cheetah is walking on a road a lion is walking on a road but who asked us to build roads in the path of those animals actually I, my humble request to the news channels don't read the news as uh, animals are walking in the roads causing disturbance to public rather you should read it as uh, public roads were built on the path of animals thus public is giving disturbance to the animals and and at last uh, we cre- we destroyed the we disturbed the path of birds in the air we disturbed the path of animals in the land uh, and even we don't leave the marine organisms due to the global pollution and the plastics which we are throwing in sea day by day lot of marine organisms are getting distracted you can watch the documentary called a blue planet uh, from which is uh, which explains how the marine organisms are getting disturbed day by day so what we need uh, just money we run behind the money and we don't have any morals in our life uh, The, this world is not only for humans but for all other organisms uh. nature created everything for everyone but who are us to disturb that uh. imagine a world where we don't have trees to give us rain we don't have honey bees to transfer the pollen grains from one flower to another we don't have a uh, rain to give us water what is the purpose of living a life in that world so let our generation be more caring towards the nature and leave this space leave this earth to be a good place to live for our next generation to come uh. man people say god created uh, man and man created machines uh. nowadays uh, machines are like god and man is living a life of a mission and god is in the hearts of you people who patiently listen my speech for this time thank you very much